They were always a nightmare to put up. But is that why 130 years of history is disappearing? There used to be big business for Blackpool, raising millions of pounds in their heyday. Three hours in a chair cost the equivalent of £1.50. But now they're all gone. I remember there were loads on the beach and we're all sitting on them and watching the old donkeys and it was very enjoyable. But now you have to sit in a cold concrete and uh, I miss them and I think everybody else does. He used to always clap when you used to sit on them. But you got there in the end, half the fun was getting them up and together. I think for a lot of people they've, they're out of time now because a lot of people bring their own things. They like to sit on the steps instead of the sand. But I, th I think they'd still get used. Blackpool Council says there's enough space for half a million people on the steps of the seawall, where people can sit and relax. City parks are home to a few deck chairs in summer. Landlocked Heaton Park in Manchester has built its own beach for the holidays. There's something really relaxing about sitting in a deck chair. It's probably something to do with the fact that it takes so long to get in and out of them, so you stay in them for a long time. In this day and age, though, of health and safety awareness, there's another problem with deck chairs. Trapping your fingers. The great thing about the Blackpool deck chairs is that got a unique anti-finger trapping device. This isn't the end of Blackpool's deck chairs. 75 miles down the motorway near Chester, 6,000 of the finest have been getting a new lease of life. Maria Hopwood bought them all and renovates them before hiring them out all over Britain. I felt sorry for them, that they were being thrown out and nobody wanted them. And it was just part of our heritage. It was the great British getaway. Now it's called glamping. But we did it then in the 50s and 60s. And at this moment in time, in the middle of the summer, they are all actually all out for hire. The beaches may be empty, but apparently there's plenty of life still left in Blackpool's deck chairs. Nick Garnett, Northwest Tonight, Blackpool.